the following video is going to be an introduction on how to solve rational equations. Now, what we need to keep in mind is that so far we've learned how to simplify, multiply, divide, add, subtract, and graph rational equations. So we're going to take all of those concepts and use them when solving our rational equations. The following steps we can use when we're trying to solve. The first thing we want to do is look for our excluded values. The way you do that is you look for your asymptotes because that tells you where x cannot exist. And so we're going to be using our vertical asymptotes for this, which comes for our graphing part of rational equations. So there we can see the connection with our graphing. Then what we have to do is we're going to have to multiply. So we see our multiplying by a common denominator. So back when we learned how to add and subtract our rational expressions, we had to find a common denominator. And so that's going to come into play here. And then we're going to solve after we multiply through by that common denominator. And the key step, the most important step, is right here. Be able to multiply through by that common denominator. You're going to see what happens when we do that. And so I have this rational function. 2x over 3 minus x plus 3 over 6 equals 2. So there's my rational equation. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find my excluded values. And what I do is I set the denominator equal to 0 for all of the fractions and solve for the variable. Well, there is no variable in the denominator here, so there's nothing to solve for. There's no variable in the denominator here, so nothing to solve for there. So there is no excluded values. Then what I do is I find my common denominator. And so remember, when you're finding the common denominator, you're really looking at what the least common multiple of your denominators are. So I want to know what's the least common multiple of 3 and 6. And the least common multiple of 3 and 6 is 6. So that is my common denominator. So what I'm going to do is I am going to multiply the entire equation by 6. Now I'm going to show you what's going to happen here in the work. And then I'm going to talk about, I would say, a shortcut method for it. When you do this, you distribute the 6 to all of the terms on the left side, and you're going to even distribute it to the right side as well. So really, I have the 2x over 3. And like I said, I'm going to show all the work here, and then I'm going to talk about, I would say, the shortcut or the quick way of doing this. You know, the 2x is going to be multiplied by 6, and then I'm going to divide by 3. My x plus 3 is going to be multiplied by 6 as well, and then divide by 6. And then the 2 is going to be multiplied by 6 as well. Well, what's going to happen? Well, 2x and 6 is 12x, so I really have 12x divided by 3, which 12x divided by 3 is 4x. When I distribute here, I'm going to get, you know, minus, I have a 6x plus 18 on the top, and then, you know, divide by 6. Well, 6 goes into both these terms. You know, 6x divided by 6 is x. 18 divided by 6 is 3. So I have subtracting the expression, so I put in parentheses, x plus 3. And then I have 2 times 6, which is just 12. Well, now look at this. Our denominators disappeared. That was the whole point of multiplying through by our common denominator, is you'll no longer have fractions. I have 4x minus the quantity x plus 3 equals 12. And so I can solve that now. That, what I'm going to do is distribute the minus sign. So it's negative x minus 3. 
and then combine like terms. 4x minus x is 3. So 3x minus 3 equals 12. I would add 3 and get 3x equals 15, and then divide by 3 to get x equals 5. Since I did not have any excluded values, I don't have to worry about my answer not existing for this, not being part of the excluded values. So there's my process. When I multiply through by my common denominator and simplified, the denominators all canceled. And I was left with an expression that just involved distributing, combining like terms, and solving. So I mentioned before, I'm going to talk about a shortcut for this. And that is here. If you think about it, you chose a common denominator. Your denominators have this multiple in common for it. And so if you think about it, when you distribute, and I'll do this in a different color over to the side, when I distribute the 6 to the 2x, the reason why I chose 6 was because it's a multiple of 3. And so if I multiply in by 6, I know that 6 goes into 3 two times. And so really what's going to happen is when I distribute that 6 in there, I simplify right away with the division. I know 6 divided by 3 is 2. And so I change it to 2 times that original 2x. And same idea. 6 gets distributed to the x plus 3 over 6. Well, 6 divided by 6 is 1. It cancels out completely. So I have minus parentheses x plus 3. And then 6 and 2 is 12. And so I can, if I can see why I chose 6 and how it works with my denominators, then I know I don't need to show all of the work. I can get right to this point right away. Because if I want a denominator of 6, then, you know, 3 times what gives you 6? 2. That's what's missing. And so there is a shortcut for this, and you're going to see it throughout the rest of the videos in this series. This is just meant as an introduction so you can see each step in the process of solving rational equations take place.